Hi friends, it's Nirmal from Nandanam Exotics and today we'll be looking at nature and going back into nature to find what all beautiful sights we can find. I have done an episode similar to this before. Do check it out first or you can watch it after this video. So friends, in today's episode of Into the Wild series, we'll be featuring a lot of butterflies, insects and moths that I found in the vicinity. Also, as usual, we'll be featuring a medicinal plant that is indigenously used in Indian Ayurvedic system. The current footage gives an idea of how beautiful the landscape is. It was actually a cultivated paddy field few years back, but now they have stopped growing paddy here. But occasionally banana is grown. Just like last video in this series, we got another couple of Mormon butterflies fluttering around. They are one of the most common butterfly species seen in Kerala. This is the special guest for this video. Uh, he is a oriental garden lizard that used to sleep on one of the branches in my garden. I used to visit him in the night time and he'll be there in the same spot every day. I took a couple of videos of him and thought of showing you guys. So guys, there's a river that is flowing nearby all this land that I'm exploring. And as I said, these were all cultivated lands where paddy, banana and all sorts of things were grown. So this is the river that they used to irrigate this land. What you guys are seeing right now is a blue tiger moth or day moth. It's not very commonly seen in my area and I was really surprised to find one. So next on our list is a nine spotted moth or a yellow belted burnet. I found him in one of my fern and I thought it will be interesting to show you guys. Guys, this is one of the most exciting footage I got for you guys in this episode. They are a couple of blue Mormon butterflies. It's the official butterfly for the state of Maharashtra. It is also one of the biggest butterfly I have seen in this area. It also emits a blue color from its wing. This is also the reason why it's named a blue Mormon. It's actually similar to the normal common Mormon butterfly that I just showed you guys right now. Just that they have a blue tawn to the wing. In, usually it's very hard to capture them on camera because they are very fast and agile. Since they are mating, I was lucky enough to get this footage. So friends, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Do consider subscribing to the channel and also be a part of the community by pressing the bell notification button so that whenever I post new videos, you will be notified. This guy was totally tricky. He made me chase him for at least 15 minutes so that I can get some decent footage for you guys. But it was totally worth it. I have not seen this guy a lot here. He's really rare. I love it. He's called a clipper butterfly. So guys, we are back with the common Mormon butterflies. I know I've been showing them a lot, but I can't help it because they are the most common butterflies here. And also, they always give me the best show. I get so much footage from these two or this group and I love them a lot. So guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but from the last video, I showed you a fungi that was growing from this dead log of coconut tree. Now the fungi is starting to deteriorate, but look at how beautiful the underside of it is. I love 
of those patterns friends in this video clip you can get to see the proboscis of a butterfly this is a grass demon butterfly using its proboscis to drink nectar from the white flower it's a tube like structure in the front of their head which they use like a straw to suck out nectar So we are back with the blue Mormon butterflies. Uh, guys, uh, if you guys have not seen a butterfly mating before, this is what it looks like. I am not sure about it, but the one you're seeing upright is the female and the one upside down is the male. This is what I got from this. I am not sure about it. Maybe experts can correct me if I'm wrong. As I said earlier, they are one of the biggest species of butterfly I see in my area. Also, they are swallow-tailed and are seen commonly in South India and parts of Sri Lanka. Guys, check out this colony of ants trying to build a nest out of a leaf. They are coordinating their efforts to fold the leaf and another team is sticking it together. It's so interesting to see them up close. Friends, what you're seeing right now is a passion fruit wine with its gorgeous blooms. It's one of the most beautiful, intricately designed blooms and adding the bumblebees into it even enhances the beauty tenfold. Guys, if you have seen the first episode, you know that I used to introduce one medicinal plant in such episodes. So today our medicinal plant or native species is Indian snake root plant or Revulfia. Revulfia serpentina is the scientific name for this plant. It's generally called as Indian snake root plant or shrub. It's tropical and is from the Apokinaceae or milkweed family. The roots of this shrub resembles the body of a snake and hence the common name Indian snake root plant. It's mentioned in ancient Ayurvedic textbooks as Sarpagantha or Chantrika and is highly used in treating hypertension, snake bites, malaria, etc. It also goes by another common name called Devil's Pepper and I assume it's because of these blackberries that they produce. The root itself is the most uh, medicinal part of the plant and is used in most practices as well. As I said earlier, this clipper butterfly really made me work for these visuals and I'm feeling so happy seeing this video right now. They look so pretty, the wings on them are so ornate and beautiful. This blue tiger moth was also very special and pretty. It's very rare to find blue colored butterflies here and I was really surprised to find this guy.
so friends mr lizard is back and i'm seriously planning on naming this guy anyways he is a permanent resident in one of the trees in our garden friends yet another couple of butterflies in love uh, i think it's the breeding season for them right now i see a lot of couple of butterflies flying around and mating and all those lovey dovey stuff i think it's their season for breeding One thing I noticed about this blue tiger moth is that it always sits on the underside of a leaf. I think it's to avoid predators from seeing it or spotting it since it's such a bright color easily birds can spot it from anywhere. This moth is hard to miss. It's called a day flying moth. I think it's because usually moths are found in the night time and this guy roams around in the day. It's having a striking colors and such a beautiful wing. Friends, I can't get enough of this butterfly. It's such a beautiful one. Anyways, my point is, we as nature lovers should always keep some time to go and explore the nature around us. Also, try to explore more flora and fauna that is endemic to your locality. You'll be amazed at what all beautiful sights await you. So, I hope I inspire someone in my viewing circle. Uh, to do the same from their own locality so i hope today's video was entertaining and informative at the same time do consider subscribing to the channel if you are new here so guys don't forget to like the video also share it in like minded communities also friends don't forget to check out the first episode of this series i'll leave a link in the description so friends it's time to wind up this video hope you guys had a nice time i'll be coming back to you next week with a brand new video until next time it's normal signing off